I think what gets Steve up in the morning for his 16 hour days is his desire to make sure that everybody has one, a great education and two, an opportunity to see what America's playbook can do in their lives. Steve Shuck's fearless attitude brought him to Colorado Springs. What happened over the next 50 years changed the landscape of the region and brought to the forefront one of the biggest champions for community the state has ever seen. Steve was born in New York City in 1936. Ended up getting admitted to the University of Pennsylvania, the Wharton School. Fell in love with coaching and unbelievably got a job as the head football coach at the West Point Prep School. Uh, we were pregnant with our first child. Went back to New York, got a job. We knew we wanted to move to Colorado. I got a job here in Colorado Springs working for a department store. I was an entrepreneur and I had all this pep and vinegar and drive and ambition. Steve formed Shuck Communities, now Shuck Chapman Companies. It wasn't necessarily projects that put him on the map. It was actually Steve himself. He's a very large personality. Very few companies of any sort can last 50 years, much less real estate that goes through these very tough cycles. I've had tremendous success and tremendous failure. Success is a lot more enjoyable. Motivated by what he learned in the rough and tumble real estate development world, he ran for governor in 1986. I refused to become so politically correct that I wouldn't offend anybody. He didn't make it, but he added so much to the political debate, the policy debate, especially in education, that we saw the results of that effort for years to come. Steve and Joyce founded Parents Challenge in 2000. We could make a difference if we became evangelists and activists in favor of school choice. And when you can celebrate having over 3,000 underprivileged kids that have had the benefit of scholarships to go to the right schools and get the right education is something very few people can say they've accomplished. He also started the Shuck Initiatives as a way to help move people from dependency to independence. And it is about finding social welfare entrepreneurs within communities that are solving real world problems. Steve's competitive nature still drives him in everything he does. He wants to find the most difficult slope on the mountain and go up and ski it. He, when I was 18 years old, he gave me a birthday gift to go to a Porsche driving school. Since we were asked when we we're gonna drive home over Independence Pass, go down the straightaway, he hits the brakes, we skid and, and drive off Independence Pass in, in a Porsche. Years ago when I was governor, I honored Steve with a Steve Shuck Day because I thought it's so important to really profile men and women in Colorado who had done good things for Colorado. Wherever you look that Steve's been involved, Colorado is better.